This is a website review for Crunchy Mama Farms. I'm really just going to take a look at your homepage today. I've got some suggestions that I think you might find helpful to getting higher conversions and really helping people know and understand what it is that you do. Um, remember a couple of things when you think about your website. First of all, within the first three seconds, people need to fully understand what you do, how you can make their life better, and how to buy from you. Um, on this header section of your homepage, it's a little bit hard to identify really any of those things. So I have some suggestions to make. Um, your headline if I, if I scroll back through your website some, I was able to find some more information, but I think your headline might be better served to say something like providing nutrient dense foods in harmony with nature. Um, I'm not sure that the average consumer would know that you're selling food when you say that you're connecting Texans to the food that they eat. They might want to know that you're local. They might want to know that you're right there in Texas. But really, to me, this header section looks more like your just selling classes, which is probably your higher ticket item anyway. So maybe that is your plan. But I think that you can move into uh, showing them a little bit more about the other services that you provide. You might also have a nice wide band along the bottom of your header section that says, we offer pasture raised chicken, farm fresh eggs, and classes to help you thrive. You need to have your call to action button that's um, really brightly colored, vibrant, really stands out and pops. Explore our classes is a, a, a fair call to action. A better one might be register for a class. And in your case, I might suggest having two calls to action, and that's really rare for me to say, but I think your two calls to action could be shop food and then also register for a class. And I would put those up here in this top right section. I would remove all of this other navigational options and, and put all of these down in the footer section where most of them already exist anyway. Customers are more and more inclined to continue scrolling through your website in order to find the navigation buttons. So uh, make them look through all of your data before before they start navigating elsewhere and just put those clear calls to action right here in this header section. I really like this quote um, and these, these images are um, lovely and they, they help me to know what your home life is about, but they really don't tell me anything about what you sell or why you do what you do or how you can make my life better as a consumer. So you might put some, some headings on them. Um, you might just move them and use those images in other locations on your website. This narrative section, I think, um, is important, and I actually really love the handwritten font down at the bottom. It really brings a home touch, and, and you are personal people who are, are really helping your community. But <clears throat> starting out with the location of your business is really not what you want people to know about you first. So I just um, scrolled through your website and, and just really super quickly wrote a narrative that might be a good intro here to this section, it says, at Crunchy Mama Farms, we know you want healthy food to stay strong. That means you need a reliable source of wholesome and nutritious food for your family. The problem is antibiotic and hormones are overused and you worry about the horrible effects they can have on our bodies. We believe food should come from happy animals that are well cared for. We understand how hard it feels to find wholesome options for your family. That's why we provide humanely raised food for our local community. And then you could get into more of the where you are. You take pride in your farming practices and you'd love the opportunity to become our local farmers. I just think you need some introduction that's going to draw your consumers in and help them know and recognize how you can make their life better. You understand the problem that they're facing. You want to help. I would also think about adding maybe um, a testimonial section to your website. It looks like you're fairly new, just reading through some of your stories. So I, I like the fact that you've used um, some quotes here. That really is a testimony. If you can find um, a few close friends or family members even that can give you a testimony that you can use on your website, I think that's going to go a very long way. And then um, this section, this um, did you know section, quite honestly, I think it would make a good lead generators. So instead of just posting it here on your website for everyone to be able to see and read, you might put a really punchy, compelling headline on it, publish it so that it's um, really attractive, and then 
offer to trade a, a person's email address for it. So instead of subscribe to our newsletter, download our free guide, and then whatever your punchy title is for the lead generator. People are not um, all that willing these days to just blindly subscribe to a newsletter, but they will trade their email address for something that you give them of value. And I think that the information that you've provided here is very valuable and would make a very nice lead generator. I hope that helps with just some overall points of your website. And I hope that making some of those changes can really help you see some higher conversions and some higher sales.